Soy or no watching is a blender, a digitive centrix, and this is the lesson number 17. In this lesson, we're going to see how we can make an spline IK. So let's get started by making a circle or making our new object. So we will start by making the object that we will start to erect. So we will start by making an extrusion in the axis around to this distance. And let's try to make some loop cut here and some loop cuts here. And after that, I will extrude or scale to this distance. And again, we can extrude scale shift Z to this distance. And another time, I will start to select all these and extrude scale like this. So let's see how we can rig this. It's very simple. After but before we start, let's, let's start to filling these faces. So we have a simple shape such as this, and we'll start to create the first armature. But uh, let's make a screen cast case works. And after that, I will make sure that I have added the, the, this armature. If you come to the edit, you will see that th we have this one here. But I will move to the top such as this and after that and after that let's inverse it to be here and again I will move it to be in this distance and let's extrude another seven time so I will extrude to the first time to the second time to the third time to the fourth time to the fifth time to the sixth time to the number seven which is final step and again we will start to select this object and start to select this armature and make sure you have choose it like this and after that as you can see we have this armature selected now control b with automatic weights and again, we will start to go to the edit mode and select each one by one. And in the bone, we will say that we have maybe two, maybe have three, maybe two, maybe you have here four, we have here three, and again, we have here three, and we have here three or two and if you go to the edit mode you will see nothing but if we would change in the armature if we change this, this the display which is viewer display from octahedral to b bone you will see that we have defined here to be two bones let's start to go to the boss mode you will see that we have here two we have here three we have here two we have here four and so on and if you rotate or scale you will see that we have this nice shape but we want to add the spline IK how we can inverse kinematic this we will go to the object mode and make sure that you have the cursor in the center we will add a curve this curve will be such as this I will scale around four times and again let's try to rotate in the y axis around 90 degrees and I will in the edit mode I will move it to this distance and let's come to select this upper part and move to this distance and let's try to select all and scale in y to be zero and select all again and scale in x to be zero and again we have this curve let's try to name it and after that and again we can select this point select this point and scale and let's try to select this armature and go to the pose mode select this one here and let's try to go to the edit mode and select this vertex cursor selected and come to object set origin to the 3d cursor to set origin object origin to the 3d cursor maybe let's 
etc. Alright, after that we will come to the pause mode and select this final one and go to the object constraint, select IK and select the curve and make the chain length to be 7, we have tried the 7 one, maybe we have chosen the 7 because we have all bones 8, we have to select the 7. And again, if we come to the curve, let's come to the curve and edit this curve by subdividing it a few times. We'll subdivide it eight times. And after that, if you select any of these, you will see that it's very, very nicely. And as you can see, we have this and this is what is called spline IK and let's move it to be here so if you want to make it ad more advanced you can select each vertex which is here and the control H to hook to new object, control H to hook to new object, which you can make it easily to select select this empty which is here, and let's select. So I think we have disabled empty, and let's select this empty from here. And again, as you can see, it's much, much better to move it like this. I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next tutorial.